Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yarrawonga. I am Captain Kokomo and we are playing Rise of Industry with the 200% difficulty. Now, where we just left off, I believe we just had built another plantation for the farm, for the cotton, for the thing to increase production, which will take a little while to build up. Oh, maybe not. It could be pretty good actually. Now, another little thing that I have wanted to fix for just a little bit is you see this the pollution starting to build up in places they will shut down the fields and if this gets big enough it will start to shut down buildings it will stop them from growing at all so i would like to i would like to actually go straight into here so i'm gonna have to Bulldoze a field. Sorry, Farmer Joe. Throw in a road. It goes up here. And I'm going to delete. No. Actually, I won't. I'll delete. No, I won't. I will actually delete this one here. Because that will stop water trucks from using this little intersection here. And that'll just leave production going... Actually, yeah, that, we'll leave it like that. I want to get rid of... We'll try and get rid of this one. I've got an, I've got an idea. Let's try and get rid of that one. So that should make all of the water trucks go around here and directly into here. Which is probably one of the quickest, if not the quickest, route... And we have trucks going all the way through town for some reason. Because they're going up to this farm up here. How about we just get rid of that intersection there. We'll make them use this road. Hopefully that works to reduce the pollution. See, it's reduced down here. This one, I think, might stay up high for a little bit. And in case those eagle-eyed of you among us have noticed that Yarrawonga wants to upgrade. Look at this. $1.48 million for six wall panels and $389,000 for seven bricks. I never thought anyone would pay that much for the for brick. Though those few bricks but we've got two and a half million we're making 165 million 165 thousand dollars a month so far but one little disaster one little event like this oh yeah actually cotton demand for 27 is plus 27 percent for 17 months in Yarrawonga which I have taken advantage of and we've put it up to nine per 15 days but that's beside the point. So, yes, one little event that, that goes south for us could ruin us. So I don't want to take the chances and throw nearly all of my money at this in case it does not go well. I'll make sure I've got a little bit of a buffer before I start throwing that kind of large sums at anything. So, we need to put another farm back in here, add another field back in. We'll throw you there. So that has stopped people from using this road. There's still more pollution over here. Is it going to clear up? This is still... A little bit polluted here too. I think I think it'll be all right. This seems to be okay for now. Cause it's a loop. It's just a loop. It'll it'll be okay. 
what is the storage like? It's okay. It's hovering around 20. Let's see if we can... If that... That stock level maintains, we can probably throw in another couple of um, trade routes down to probably Kalala Bay and Tathra, which are down over here. Throw in just a little warehouse and truck depot down there and there, which will cost about $700,000. So we are making money pending the next event that happens. You know what? I'm still not happy with how this is polluting. I'd like to try and fix that if I can. That there. I want to get rid of this road here. And I'd like to get rid of that there. Just see if that makes a difference. Oh, they're gonna have to go all the way around. No, no, no. Well, let's let's cut that off. I wonder if I extend that back in, will that make send them down using that road to get to? No, they can't. No, 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 that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Yerrawonga truck dispatch cost reduced by 54% for 19 months. Hell yes, I'll be taking that. This is going wonderfully. Speed that back up. Yeehaw. All right, now our previous event, because they're back down to 7 per 15 days. Going to adjust this because we don't want to send out the extra trucks if we don't need to. See, they're still using that because they haven't updated their pathing yet. Once their cycle is complete, they will update their pathing and that'll... Yeah, see, they're still... They're going to start using this now. And the pollution that was around here is dissipating. And I th think this should... I think it is. You know what? I could probably... Because there, there's no join here now. So they can't use this road to go to there. No, no. I think... Uh, oh. I'll try this. I'll try this. Just try that. See if that works at all. Because I do have to go down to there. They are using that road. Actually... You know what, I'm going to try this because I think the dispatch trucks have to go from there to there, then pick up and then go somewhere. Flood, uh oh. Flood. A sudden flood has affected the region. Water levels are higher. So water, water comes easy, but it's also making it harder for your farmers. Sand demand is up by 25%. Sand collection demand is up 25%. Textile factory demand for the sandbags, I'm guessing, is 25%. All building upkeep by 75%. And farm production by plus 50, minus 50%. Ooh. Ooh. See what I mean by... That could really... One event could really destroy us? Alright, I think we're good. No, because there, there are dispatch trucks that are using this big loop. And unfortunately, I think they need to, just to stop the pollution from getting 
out of hand. This is going well. Our water is being routed nicely. You know what? I think we could probably... We could probably... Do this. Just so this doesn't have to go all the way around there. I know it looks ugly, but that's the way it's going to be for now. So, deal. Interest of new loans reduced by 35% for 17 months at Border Town. I'm not going anywhere near Border Town, so that can jump for the moment. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. We have plenty of production. Let We've got $3.9 million. We've got, any, we've got enough of a buffer. I could either do this... Or I could put in more profit lines, which I think I probably will. Profit is going to be the way of it. Uh, Alright. Let us chuck in a warehouse down here at Tathra. And a truck depot... We'll check it there. And you are going to request uh, cotton. How much do you want? You want seven. So let's request seven. And you will send out seven to the Tathra warehouse. Okay. And now we will go down here and put in another warehouse just outside of town. Right there. And a truck depot. Right there. And you will request cotton. How much do you want? You want six. So we'll request six. And you will send to Kalala Bay and six. Wonderful. That's two more production, like, profit lines. Here's our gas. We're still at two and a half million. So that, those, those little, those two little warehouses and truck depots cost us about a million dollars. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Well, seven hundred and fifty thousand. So how's this going? I think we're doing alright. Apparently cotton storage is still shockers. If we start making more profit, once we go back into profit, I will start looking at upgrading Yarrawonga to a clothing warehouse and we'll a clothing store, and we'll start to supply them with like textiles and things like that. Still not making a profit yet. Are you past fully demanded? They're making... Yeah, they're doing it. They're, they're getting it. They're doing it. Why are you not getting... Partially supplied. Apparently, Kalala Bay is now just getting supplied. With all this extra traffic going out of here, this should... No, no, that's still full. It'll make, it should make room for these to send their product down here. We are still chockers, though. Are you at least getting partially supplied? Fully supplied, that's wonderful.
I think we should probably have a little bit of a buffer though. So let's take it up to 10. I know that's increasing truck frequency and truck maintenance, but I'd like to have at least a little bit of a buffer. Because that's fully demanded right there, because we didn't supply them last month. Wallaroo, permit to build in this region, $3 million. Oh, I've spent too much money. I could have done that. We didn't, we're not going to worry about that. See? Yeah. It'll be alright. It will be okay. Alright, so, next step. We are back to making money, which means those trade routes that we just put in are profitable. So, I think we can look at... Oh, Jesus. We made $300,000 last month. So, let's do this. We've done it. And we're choosing clothing store. Let's get a let's get a screenshot of that, shall we? No, no, no. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Can I? Oh, I missed the fireworks. Damn it! Let's keep going. But anyway, that might be where we leave it for this episode. We've upgraded Yarrawonga to the next level. Seven days left for that. Excellent. Okay. Well, I think that's where we're going to leave it. Gameplay alerts. Yep, we'll get rid of those. We've eased this. We've created room in the warehouse for these to send into here. I know we've got more traffic going down here. That'll be a pollution issue that we need to look at later on. Unless we put the warehouse up in here, but that would cause more pollution up around in here, so that's not going to be a good idea. All right, I will, I'll. It'll be it'll be wonderful. But thank you for joining me on this episode. It's been an absolute pleasure having you with me, and join me next time. If you found any interest value in this video, I'd like to try and... I hope I'm helping you guys. If this is helping in any way, giving you tips on how to play, please hit the thumbs up button. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling particularly energetic, please hit the bell icon as well. And as these boxes are starting to appear, please go and check out my mental health series. I think it's touched everyone's lives in one way or another. So if you can be... If you can benefit from a talk on mental health, or you know somebody that can, please go and check out those videos as well. So, I thank you for joining me. I've been Captain Kokomo, and I will see you on the next video.